So let's look at Sally Yates. I was looking into AG in my last read and I felt, and I got no for Sally Yates on AG. And I was like, what? She seems so good. And then, um, I don't know, it just like flashed in my head that she, maybe she could be a judge and maybe even a Supreme Court justice. Cause I think Ruth Bader Ginsburg will want to retire at some point. And I thought that was like, whoa, how fun. I want to read on that. I need to read on some positive things. So, um, Sally Yates, Sally Yates, Sally Yates. Help us to see, could she be the next Supreme Court justice? Could she be, or just a Supreme Court justice at some point? Okay, first two cards that flew out, the Hanged Man and the Two of Pentacles, which is weird because this came out in my last read when I, when I read on Eric Stallwell. But anyway, so what I get for this for her, like, I don't think she's feeling well. I, I don't think she's sick or anything like that. I think, and I am getting with this with a few of these cards, like she's in a sort of healing period right now. And she doesn't really know what to do with herself. She's sort of looking at options. But this hangman, like, she needs this time to heal and sort of back off from things for a little while. Here we have this hermit at the, at the surface, which also reiterates that she's taking time for herself. I didn't realize until I read on her right now how heavily all this has weighed upon her. Um, here we have her standing her ground, the seven of wands. She has fought hard to do what's right and to, to stand her ground. She's taken so much attack and, um, and she has succeeded and she was strong and she did it. But now she really just needs to take care of herself. I feel under here with this nine of cups, there's so much love and healing. Like this card feels wonderful. Um, but I also feel it as a healing of a lot of, of pain. So there's that. But um, she has so much, I, I feel like she might be like a very spiritual or religious person. And she's being, spiritual energy is really available to her it's it's nurturing her she's being deeply nur nurtured by the spiritual energy that she needs right now um, and i see this seven of cups this is her kind of turning away it's more of that sort of a hermit she's sort of turning away like to sort of be by herself or be with her loved ones um she needs a break. She needs to. She needs a break from the intensity of everything. And I'm not saying, you know, she's obviously a strong person. I'm not saying, oh, she's a, a, a weak flower or something like that. I think anyone who had gone through this, and I just didn't realize it. We just see her as a rock star. But there's a lot. I think that, you know, when you become the target, a target like that, when all you try to do is the right thing, I just think it's been pretty rough and I think she needs to just do some daydreaming and take care of herself like take a long vacation or something do things that make her happy but I do see her working I don't know and I wanted to cheat and look at what she's up to right now but I see her as sort of and we know she lost her job um at the White House thanks to Donald Trump and all of that but she is working for someone and these two wands, I see something in law, or maybe she is sort of working with a judge. Um, there's someone who's sort of like a mentor to her. And, you know, she's working maybe part-time, maybe consulting sort of thing, so she can take this other time right now to, to heal. So, yeah, that's what I see for her as far as right now. Um, the moon... Hopes and fears. Oh yeah, this is where I felt a lot of the, this pain is that I think she's, she she's, you know how we're frustrated. We can watch her 
speak her truth and then we're frustrated because nothing really happens and that's her times like a hundred. You know, you see her here with her testimonies that she's done and it's like, does any of it matter? Everyone's still just, everything just still carries on and sort of having these like deeper, um, more profound questions about our government like how did how does this how do we get here how do how does how do these things not matter to to these people? Oh, it's like desperately wanting things to matter. Yeah, sort of wondering. Oh, and you see this sword here and this wand, sort of like having fallen in the water. There's just like a, I did my best and I don't know that it mattered. I don't know that it's gonna make a difference. Oh, yeah, she. Um... But of course we know, I mean, I think in the long run she'll see that, but it's when you're in it, when you're in the forest, can you see the, <laughs> I don't know what that saying is. I mean, I can't think of it right now. But look at this long-term outcome I get for her on this question. I mean, Knight of Cups and Justice. So having gone through all of that, I think that we have something here. I think that it's possible. Um, for sure. I mean, all these cards actually say, yeah, yeah, you're going to read on whether she might be come a Supreme Court justice and you get a Knight of Cups and a Justice card and a Transition card. And also this Eight of Pentacles, meaning like you've put in your time. This is a little more like, might, she might need a little more maturity, even though, you know, maybe that's some of what she's getting here. So who knows, years, a year, years down the line. Transition, of course. This is traditionally the death card. It's possible that someone who passes away, um, she, she'll replace them. You know, nothing wrong with getting old and passing away. It's okay. That can be a beautiful part of life as well. It's just like a farewell. But this could also just mean a retiring. It's transition. So, um, and then let's see, when I did first just get the Knight of Cups card, I did look at the base. And I saw, okay, so six of pentacles. And then with, with this two of cups, five of cups, and an ace of pentacles. The story I get here is they, in the giving out of these, or the uh, nominating and, you know, the whole process, that there may be, I don't think she'll be the next one, but maybe after two get, you know, like, this is sort of the, the handing of the giving of something and this is two I think maybe either the next time they do this maybe they'll do two at once could be I kind of do see that like that when she joins or whatever that there will be not just her but two people at once a, a man and a woman and then and then this five of cups does bring me to loss I'm afraid with this that ties into this transition card, possibly. So I'm sorry for that. Um, this Ace of Pentacles is 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 it? Here, it's offered to her, or you know, it's given. She's given that honor. I believe that that's there in the future for her, but you know, in a little bit of time. And then after I threw the other cards, I did, I got another, I got a page of cups, you know, another sort of card of offering. So like things will be coming her way. And I do feel this, what is this? This is like, she can have a grandchild or something. I don't, she seems like she's too old to have her own children. Like maybe they're grown. So as I'm editing this video, I decided to look up Sally Yates' birthday. And it turns out it was yesterday, August 20th, which is so crazy to me. I actually did this video, recorded it, um, did the reading on the 19th. Um, but then I meant to put it out yesterday, which would have been her birthday. So I thought that was such an amazing coincidence. Something delightful. And that ties in for me with a lot of this. She needs to do some daydreaming, some quiet time, some healing, some spiritual healing. And she, she's going to have a little joy come into her life. I think that's probably just something so joyful like a grandchild. And it's going to really help to heal her. So who knows if that's a ways down the line. But I do see that for her. That's really cool.
So anyway, thanks for watching. Let me know if anything jumped out to you or if you have any thoughts, please like and subscribe and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.